All right, so the remastered original games of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3. So what do I think of the games? Actually, let me just say this first. When I brought the game, I thought that this type of gameplay was extremely outdated. Because the thing is, is that these games actually have tank controls and the game uses a grid based system to get around. So basically you can expect to, you know, you gotta run and jump, climb things and do puzzles, right? And basically, um, you know, it's an old base system. So I thought this game was, this type of gameplay was extremely outdated. However, after buying and playing all three games, I can tell you now is that the gameplay has aged very well, which actually impressed me, to be honest with you. The gameplay aged very well, and I had a lot of fun, actually brought back a lot of old memories when I was going through these games. Now, I wouldn't say it feels like a AAA game, because it doesn't, but even so, I would say it's very fun to play, like it aged very well, like I said. Not only that, but these remasters actually uses a higher frame rate. So the game is actually, these, these games are actually very smooth. They look very smooth compared to the original games. Actually speaking about that is that I noticed is that these games actually have the same glitches as the original games. Like for example, uh, in Tomb Raider 1, Lara feels kind of heavy when, you, when you're trying to navigate with her. She feels kind of heavy compared to the other two games. Like the other two games, they get they gets a lot smoother. But I noticed is that those that, that kind of feel is still there with, with, with these remasters. So that's a thing. If you've played the original games, you know what I mean, right? But I'll still say that the overall, these remasters are, are a lot smoother compared to the old games. So yeah, that's a plus. Not only that, the visuals of this game is actually very impressive. Like the character models, the environments, you know, this game does look very impressive. It's very, it's, it's visually appealing as well. Aspire did a very good job remastering these games. They really did. And you can actually tell that they actually do care about Tomb Raider. They do. Because they put a lot of hard work into remastering these games. You can tell, you can see it. You can see it when you play these games. You can really, you really can. Like, they even kept all the original sound effects in these games. You know, like, it's like the original like sound effects, when you hear them, it's like an homage, you know, to the original games. Like, it really is. Like, they put they, there's a lot of care in this game. You know what? After going through these games, I want Aspire to actually remaster 4, 5, and 6 as well. You know, to complete the core series. Because they do care about the games. If they make it this quality, like, you know, it's very impressive. And we have a full, like, complete um, thing of the core series. Now, I'm just going to say this. I actually think that Aspire should get the full rights to Tomb Raider. Because they do care about the Tomb Raider franchise. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go th go through, like, what my problem is with the rebooted Tomb Raider games. I want to leave that for another video, but um, I'm just going to leave that as that. Like the only thing that I can find a problem with these get with these remasters is that if I, if I have to cherry pick, is when you go into the menu, it's got like a black screen, like like a, not not a black screen. It's got like a black background, which I wish they had, you know, like a picture or something or a pattern or something behind it, and um, and the other thing is that they actually remove the, um, when you know, you know, when you go into load game, you can't, um, go into like a previous stage because in the original games, you could actually, um, go back to previous stages, but, um, the, in these remasters, that seems to be removed. I don't know why they did that, but I would say those two are the only thing that I find, uh, I find a problem with, but that's just me cherry picking. So, but overall, these remasters are very well made. Very well made. Another thing I want to mention as well is that the original games on PC, they had bonus levels. So what would happen is, is that once you can finish the game, you unlock a, 
a bonus level, which is basically a challenge level, right? Um, now, these bonus levels are in the remaster. So with these remasters, you are getting all the content, right? So if you guys are curious about that, yes, they are in, they are in these remasters. So that's a plus. And I actually forgot to mention this before. I kind of wish also they actually remade the cutscenes because there are some cutscenes, especially in Tomb Raider 1, that kind of look kind of grainy. So yeah, that's that's the, another thing as well. That's what I noticed. They look kind of grainy. I kind of wish they uh, they remade them, but they, I guess they kept them in, you know, for homages and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I'm talking about the uh, the video cutscenes, not the um, in-game cutscenes, if you guys know what I mean. So the, the video cutscenes are actually a little bit grainy, but they actually did remake the in-game cutscenes. Because I noticed that in some cutscenes, they don't have the bubble, the bubbling head when someone talks. So yeah, uh, I did notice that. And another thing I want to say as well, because I know that this question is being asked a lot online. How does the saving work in this game? Now, the saving works the way it does in Tomb Raider 2. So basically, you can save anywhere. So you don't need to walk up to a crystal or in Tomb Raider well, in Tomb Raider 3, where you can actually pick up the crystal and save it. Now, picking up, there you do pick up a crystal, but now it's a collectible item. But in all three games now, you can save anywhere you like. It's a manual save. And, and but, but a word of warning, there is no auto save. So you need to save manually. So keep that in mind as you're going through the game, especially if you're a new player. So you got to save manually. There is no auto save. All right, with that all being said... Do I recommend this game? A hundred percent, yes. If you're a true Tomb Raider fan, you need to buy and play this game. It is a very good remaster. Like I said, Aspire did a very good job remastering these games. If you're a true Tomb Raider fan, if if you're just getting into to, into the Tomb Raider games, or if you want to um, play the the OG Tomb Raider games. I highly recommend you buy this. It is a very good remaster. Anyway, that's that's all from me. Like, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And yeah, thank you for watching.